Hey, it's another beautiful day in the neighborhood and we're gonna go for another walk and explore another little trail around where I live. As a matter of fact, this is pretty much at the end, end of uh, the road that I live on. So I live on a road called Macaulay Road. This is right up close to the end of it. It's an incredibly long road. And this is called the One Spot Trail. And not only will I show you around the trail, the trail itself isn't breathtaking, shall we say. Lots of big trees, lots of green. So it's nice in that regard. But the real treasure here is at the end of the trail, the destination. The journey is fun, and you should always find a way to enjoy the journey. But in this, the destination is definitely uh, definitely the, the most fun out of all of it. And I brought today with me a, a set of loppers. <clears throat> Because the end of this trail, the destination, as I say, is kind of a secret, kind of. But I felt like the uh, there are parts of the secret part of the trail that need a little bit of uh, care and attending to. They've got some pretty invasive plants growing over it, making it a little hard to, to traverse the last little bit of, of the trail. So we're not going to make it too obvious where it is, but once you get past... A certain point we'll clear it out a little bit make it a little easier to walk on so that's what we're going to do today and i'll show you a portion of one spot trail well here we have the start of the trail we're still fairly close to uh, some of the properties well the houses on the properties at least on macaulay you can't you can kind of see the you know the lawn and stuff in there so here's the interesting part about this whole trail one spot trail a little bit of history for this particular jaunt this used to be an old logging railroad so it is a i think a goal to one day connect it all but until then they've got a, several different portions of trail and each one is a little bit different like there's some in town that are you know have some pa paving uh paved walkways for example this one is a little more au naturel. Well, look at this little guy. That's pretty cool. Never seen one of those before. You know, I really don't know what it is. It looks like a millipede, but it's got that yellow on it. Maybe it's a certain, certain type of millipede. Ah, it's pretty cool. You know, it just goes to show you, like, the, that's in the middle of the trail. Here's a kind of a good place to stop and take a look around this is the first time the trail really opens up and you know like most places on vancouver island you can see all sorts of uh, evidence of past logging in through these areas you know the all the young trees and finding some of the stumps etc etc even the types of trees that grow in the area can uh, signify that logging was done. Although out, out here, out here on Vancouver Island, it's pretty safe to say that <laughs> they logged most of it. Yeah, that's how they make friends. Well, I guess we better go off because I've actually seen you out here before. Yeah, maybe not. I'm a proud papa. Uh, you can kind of see right back there, right back there. Those are some uh, some horses. So that's kind of one of the uses of this one spot trail. It's a multi-use trail, and horses are uh, a really big. Uh, big part of it. There's a lot of um, equestrian types around here on, on Macaulay Road. Matter of fact, those uh, those people that I ran into back there with the horses, they had a little Jack Russell with them as well. Uh, they've been here since the 70s and they were telling me how, you know, this trail, at one point there were so many people that were actually squatting along the trail and, and you know, setting up their own little uh, little camps and they did let me in on this as well. One of the big reasons why one spot trail isn't uh fully complete because this actually this trail actually goes i think from a place on the island called cowichan lake cowichan or cowichan valley down there all the way up to uh to courtney comox so it's quite a long trail uh but the biggest roadblock is land acquisition and it's not so much um you know trying to get it from any particular organization or group or government or municipality it's some of the private landowners that are being buttheads really <laughs> just because they want to be a pain in the butt 
you know, uh, old white men getting in the way of something fun that everyone can enjoy. So thanks a lot, old white dudes. Really appreciate that. The end of One Spot Trail. Yeah, so it pretty much just dead ends right here. Well, you know, dead ends. Like, you could forge forward a little bit. So what we're going to do is go a little bit further in here and past a little bit of this witch's broom. That's kind of the common name for this yellow flowery plant. It's an invasive species, so nobody really cares if you take a little bit out. There'll be more. Lots and lots more. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to go here past uh, the first layer of it and clear out the back side of this trail a little bit. Oh, there we go. It's actually a little farther than I thought. It's kind of that way and around the bend to where we first started, but we cleared uh, cleared out a decent section. Everything that I cut was pretty much, well, it was just all weeds, really. More of that stuff. That's like I was calling it witch's broom. A bit invasive, as you can see. As you can see. <laughs> anyway, so we're not quite at our final destination yet, but we are almost there. This is, uh, I guess, the, the back half. This is when you gotta do a little bit of traversing kind of through that bush right over there. And we'll get to the surprise. You'll see all that in just a moment. One day I decided to walk down to the end of One Spot Trail, keep going and see how far I could get. I kind of spotted this thing off in the grass. And when I first came to it, it was all overgrown and kind of more bugs and spider webs on it than anything. So I don't think it's been, it had been used in a while since when I first got it. But I came up to it and just as there is right now, I bet. Ha ha ha. A paddle. How's that, eh, buddy? Not too shabby. Okay. Do you see it? Do you see the frog? Oh, there he goes. Nice. Well, I'll uh, call her good for that video for now. I'm going to enjoy this swamp time. Thanks for following along. Like, subscribe. If you have anywhere you want me to check out, drop a comment. Until then, take it easy, keep it sleazy, and say hi to your mom for me.